So I got into MS research because I am of an age that you won't remember, but um, I, I did my PhD around the time the first MRI machine came into clinical practice. And the Institute of Neurology, where I was working, had this new technology called MRI. Suddenly you had this new uh, imaging tool that allowed a window into the brain. And the, um, the excitement that went through the neurological community was considerable. This was a major, major advance. And so you saw the brains of MS patients for the first time in a much greater clarity. And if you were, were a behavioral scientist, and I w wanted to be a behavioral scientist, it begged the question, well, if you can see all this going on in the brain for the first time, what's it doing in terms of behavior and in mood? I uh, remember working a, in a, uh, a rehabilitation hospital, which is focused primarily on traumatic brain injury. And all of a sudden, my colleagues said they had a patient with MS. I said, what's that? Uh, and then all of a sudden, she had another patient with MS. And we were started talking about it. And I said, well, this is really interesting because there's not a lot of focus on MS and cognition many moons ago. I got really excited about it because it was brand new, and I really felt that we can help patients. I think one of the things that perhaps I enjoy the most is, is training new, um, new, new fellows who come, who are either clinically trained or, or, more, or come from a cognitive neuroscience background and get excited about MS, excited about understanding what MS is. A big inspiration for me to get into this work is Dr. George Kraft. About 17 years ago he, or so, he said, why don't you come over and study MS with me? And he's such an inspiring clinician that kind of made me very enthusiastic. And then once I started working in clinic and seeing people with MS, they were also, I mean, I, I think it's, I don't want to go too far in saying people are inspiring, but people oftentimes are inspiring in terms of their courage in facing a, a very uh, uncertain disease. I love teaming up with people with MS because they're often very eager, open, curious, intelligent about all the ways they can possibly be helped. I love uh, forming a good working partnership with people with MS. One of the things I like wor um, about working uh, with people with MS is the interdisciplinary nature of treatment. So that working together, looking at the problem from all these different angles um, is really, um, it's enjoyable, it's challenging. It's, I love to learn, and so I learn a lot more in this field as well. I first became uh, interested in multiple sclerosis when I was an undergraduate at Fordham University. Right down the road from Fordham University was Albert Einstein College of Medicine. And uh, a neurologist there by the name of Dr. Leib Scheinberg was looking for a research assistant to work in the MS Center there. And uh, Dr. Scheinberg and others there created such a rich intellectual environment where on a regular basis he would have people sitting around from many different disciplines talking about MS from an immunological perspective, a physical therapy perspective, an OT, PT, social work, psychology perspective that was so intriguing and entrancing that uh, I, my entire career has been devoted to persons with MS, both in a clinical sense and kind of uh, working with persons with MS and their families and uh, in a research sense.